for the first time all season long, we finally have a major upgrade for the first time this season. It only took us 11 races to get there, but we finally have a major upgrade. The race today for the German Grand Prix is like cloud. It's not going to rain like it did last year, and I honestly don't care. We're starting near the back as per usual, but if you look at the R&D tree, look at the chassis. We have our first major upgrade, our engine cover for the weight, for the weight redistribution. We, we only need the second major upgrade, that's the second weight redistribution, and then we should be good to compete with Toro Rosso and Alfa Romeo, and even McLaren. All I know is that if we compete and constantly upgrade until the end of the season, I think we could pass McLaren. We've still got some work to do with the engine, and I'm going to try and start the engine work by Belgium, and also with the downfall sides. We need two major upgrades, and plus the major drag upgrade. But anyway, enough with that. It's time for the German Grand Prix. Good afternoon and welcome to a place that is very special to us all in the Formula One community. It's the Hockenheim Ring, home of the German Grand Prix. Always good for a close scrap is Hockenheim. Think back to Alonso, Ricardo, Vettel as recently as 2014 and I'm expecting some more strong racing today. It's 2.8 miles around the Hockenheim Ring then with an average lap speed in excess of 130 miles per hour. The long curved back straight leads into a tight hairpin for the best overtaking opportunity on the circuit. But there are plenty of other options available around the 17 corners here today. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's start with Racing Point. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Faber, Magnussen, Gasly, Ricardo, and Kimi Raikkonen, Grosjean, Hulkenberg, George Russell, and Stroll, Sainz, Thomas, Sergio Perez, and Alexander Albon, Butler, and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, so... The strategy looks like it's going to be a, a one-stop, and it is a one-stop, from the medium tyres to the hards. Okay, that, that's going to be an interesting strategy. I think the other cars around us are probably going to do a two-stop. But if we can nail this strategy, and hopefully the, the hard tyres don't give out on us, then I, I'd say we've got a good chance for points. Starting 16th just behind Carlos Sainz and Sergio Perez in the racing point George Russell once again is our qualified us but I honestly don't really care I know we have the pace to, to gain major positions and hopefully we have the pace to maybe even score points but who knows time will tell the formation lap is done and there you go, last four cars on the grid slots. Alright, here we go, five red lights for the German Grand Prix. Slide out and away we go, and that's another weak start from us there. Science has got us there, and I think Perez into turn one. Trying to be cautious on turn one, that's very tight. Now down the hill. In towards the hairpin and that is a decent decent entry there I think we're side by side with I think we're side by side with our teammate though George Russell is behind us so we've officially gotten past uh, Nico Hulkenberg they're all behind me as we head into the hairpin pretty much trying to go around the outside but non-veil 
But 12th place. That's a great start. I think we all know the outcome of this situation. Pretty much Nico Hulkenberg in that Renault engine. He's getting slipstream from Kimi Raikkonen. Can we go down the inside? We go down the inside of both. Oh, that was a very late launch. Oh, Hulk, we nearly made contact there with Nico Hulkenberg and now George Russell. Our teammates actually starting to get in. Go on, George. Bit of a lock up there. Is he still there? He is still there. Wow. My teammate really wants to fight. Look, wow, we're making contact even. Eventually, he has to... Right, hopefully with Nico Hulkenberg out the way. Hopefully we can try and make a charge to the top 10. And there we go. Hulkenberg is dealt with. And we are officially inside the points. Lap 15 and I'm very, very happy with my pace. Let's see if we can get this pit exit right. And we do. So we've nailed... We've nailed the pit exit. I'm very happy with our pace so far in this race. And hopefully, let's see how the pit stop is. Not the quick, not the quickest of stops, 2.1. But that'll, that'll do. That'll do, and we're back. And we rejoin P14. Surprise, Grosjean's going defensive. Don't know why he would go defensive of that of all corners, that just gives me the better exit and the better entry for the long straight and there we go into 8th place on the medium tyres and I, maybe I can have the advantage here since maybe some drivers are doing the two stops I think Leclerc just made his, uh, his second pit stop and he's actually trying to come down the inside okay Charles calm down <laughs> if I can just pull along with Leclerc, who knows where I can I can finish in this race. It's just a matter of consistency. Oh! Oh, there's a safety car! So let's see what happens here then. So who is at fault for this safety car? It's Perez. So what happens with Perez here? Let's see. Oh. You know what? I'm going to risk it for the chocolate biscuit. I'm going to pit again. To go on the soft tyres. Pretty much when we go racing. It should be more than, than enough laps. To get us to the end. And where do we come out? We come out P14. No, 15 even. Oh, God, I've made a bad decision. Alright, getting ready for this safety car restart. I think I've done a good job right now of warming the tyres. And we are back on the way for racing in Germany. Got this massive train here that goes to P12. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if if Stroll has damage, but he's going a little bit slow. And I think with fresher tyres, there we go. I have the inside line, and that is P14. And next up is Kimi Raikkonen in that Alfa Romeo. Points is not far. Let's see if I can overtake Kimi for P13. He's got a couple of cars in front. Dive down the inside of Kimi. And that. That is P13. Nearly went in the back of Nico Hulkenberg there. Let's see if I can try and get the Renault. He's got Devin Butler though, so. Butler's going on the inside. If I can get Slipstream, I'm going to go around the outside of Butler. This will be an absolute amazing move if I do this. Around the outside, better traction. Oh, what a move. 
So look at this replay once again. Just overtake Holkenberg and go round, round the outside of Devon Butler. Ooh. And you know what? I've waited too long to see if George has the pace. He doesn't have the pace. So we're going to overtake George Russell. Defend slightly, but it's not enough. P10 on my teammate. And now we have to chase Weber for P9. Let's see if I can get Weber. Weber is being held up right now. Do I dive down the inside? No, I don't. Gasly, Gasly's struggling a little bit. If we can overtake Weber, maybe we can get ourselves in the top seven, maybe. Who knows, but hopefully we can catch up. Dive down the inside of Weber. Yes, we do. There it is. Dive down the inside of Weber. Of Viba. Still can't produce his name, but... Hopefully, Weber doesn't fight back. Alright, hopefully I can get my teammate to catch up, but it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like my teammate wants to... Wants to catch up for some... For some reason into the final sector of the final lap it's going to be ninth place for the German Grand Prix and two well needed points again an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and there's certainly a team that know what they're doing out there so Sebastian Vettel wins the German Grand Prix he finally wins a Hockenheim after what happened last year. Hamilton second and Leclerc in third place. And this really spices up the Drivers Championship. As far as us though, we got we got a great result. Two points. Two points for the German Grand Prix. That's a well deserved. That's a well deserved two points. So yeah, look at that. Ricardo finished seventh, I think. We had two points when twelfth place for the driver's standings as we head in towards the end of the first half hopefully with Hungary I don't think we're going to be that competitive we haven't got that much upgrades for the downfall side but yeah Spa, Monza those are going to be our track so thanks for watching make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if we can get 30 likes for the German Grand Prix thanks for watching make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video goodbye